welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the publicity card. So this is um, saying that, you know, you whatever it is you're doing, you're ne you actually need to put yourself out there. This is almost like make yourself be known to the public. Advertise all your talents and skills. Um, you know, you need to network. You need to put yourself uh, out there so that people know what you're capable of. So uh, this is about making your uh, talents public, making whatever it is uh, you do public. So this could be you looking for a job, but um, you know, putting your CV there so that people can actually see what you're capable of doing if you're looking for a job. If it's a relationship that you're looking for, that it might be that you need to internet date or even network through friends to meet people. So there's a need for you to go public there. Uh, and you need to work with a lot of optimism. Uh, you've got that su uh, moon there in Sagittarius, and this is moving forward. There could be some f travel coming in for you, uh, meeting a lot of people, um, you know, foreign people as well, getting out there and socializing quite a bit. So, you know, uh, this is the way that you're going to be able to put yourself out there, is meeting a lot of people and uh, networking with people. Um, you've got the concentration card over there, so a need for you to focus as well. Uh, and, you know, speaking your truth as well, that's very important. But with this concentration card, uh, you know, Gemini uh, energy with that Mercury in Gemini tends to be a bit... Um, you know, all over the place, but with the Saturn coming in over there, it's showing that uh, there will be a need for you to focus and concentrate on whatever it is that you want to do. So really, uh, you know, you need to be very single-minded about what you want to do. So in the past, you've got that inspiration card over here. And uh, you've got the Mercury City in Pisces over there. So this is about opening your eyes to seeing things, uh, you know, from a very different perspective possibly, or even... Um, making sure that you're confronting things or seeing the truth in a situation uh, with that Mercury there in Pisces. Um, you know, Pisces tends to be ruled, is ruled by Neptune. Neptune tends to be a planet that, um, you know, hides things or keeps secrets. You can see the moon's eyes is, are closed over there. So there was something that you needed to see. You've been very, very stressed out recently. You've got this uh, uh, almost not shaped uh, object there uh, that is talking about you being very, 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 uh, you know, stressed out. You've got a lion. You've been dealing with a lot of problems over there. With Mercury there in uh, Leo, it's about, you know, all your mental energies have been going towards uh, trying to sort out these particular problems that you've been dealing with. And something had not come to light as well with that moon's eyes closed. Now, uh, going into the future, you've got the escape card over there, and you've got uh, the assertion. So, um, you know, there is something that you need to face. Uh, this um, Mars in Pisces is about escapism. So, um, this is about, uh, you know, trying not, not wanting to face whatever problem there is, trying to run away from a situation or run away from the circumstance. Maybe you don't want the drama that comes with what with whatever it is that you're trying to deal with. And maybe this is the reason why you just want to, to get away with it, uh, get away from it, rather. But it looks like you're going to have to turn and face these, whatever these demons are, whatever these problems are, uh, and, uh, you know, face them head on. Um, and, you know, Aquarius is not a sign that runs away from things, I don't think. Uh, you are a person that can be quite stubborn at times and, uh, you know, almost just like Taurus. Uh, so... Um, you know, you, you know how it is uh, to deal with uh, something that is difficult and you're, you've got the strength um, of character to be able to face whatever it is and sort it out. So uh, make sure that, you know, you don't um, uh, try and, uh, you know, uh, sweep it under the carpet, so to say. Make sure you're dealing with that particular problem head on. And you have to be assertive. You've got to take that risk. You've got to be assertive with that sun there in Aries. This is about fighting that battle, fighting that demon. So instead of running away from whatever that problem is, you're going to have to slay that dragon, uh, in other words. So take your chance, uh, you know. Um, Aquarius is a, a, the, the sign, of, you know, it's ruled by Uranus. It is a, a rebel sign. Uh, and, uh, you know, you are not going to be taking um, things standing down. So you, you need to stand up, fight that battle. Whatever that problem is, sort it out once and for all. And, um, you know, and then move on from that. And, and you can do it. You je definitely have a very strong uh, character. And you will be able to, be, uh, to stand up against whatever problems there is. So a need for you to assert yourself and believe in yourself. You will be able to sort this problem out. 
So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. And this is the main read. the deck you got that seven of swords now it looks like you know you're going to be leaving all the drama behind and moving on because she's packed her little um satchel there with her all the swords she's taken one sword in her hand all her skills and talents um and she's going forward and it looks like you know you might be feeling as though you're um being ostracized from the pack because she's got that wolf, she's a lone wolf, if you like, and you're going solo, but you're leaving behind everything that was established or all the drama behind, and you're going forward. It's almost like you're cutting your losses and moving forward. Um, and, you know, you're going to have to use a lot of mental agility to be able to sort through whatever problems you have, but you'll be able to sort through them. Uh, you, it seems like you have made up your mind to move forward. You've got the strength card immediately under that, so you definitely uh, are, um, you know, overcoming all these problems that you have been dealing with it looks like you know you're leaving behind uh whatever is not serving you or whatever problems you've you've been having leaving it behind uh you know if there was a lot of uh, deceit or lies or whatever was going on behind uh you know behind your back maybe uh, you're leaving all of that behind and you're moving on and i think you're going to be happier doing that anyway so um it looks like there's an an offer that has come in for you or will be coming in and maybe this is the reason why that seven of swords comes in there now this offer is coming in it's a really good offer with that six of cups it might be an offer for further training as well uh, or even an offer to teach it's something really good because these cups have all got uh, you know flowers in them and so it will blossom into something really good Now you may have uh, known this person who's giving you this offer maybe you've worked with them before or it might be an old company that company that you worked with or maybe you're going back to complete something that you should have done in the past uh, maybe you know in the form of learning maybe going back to school again but whatever this offer is it's going to be something that you really really enjoy um, you've got the emperor card over here so this is about you taking that control making sure that you are very very organized managing your resources and finances very very carefully as well now with the emperor card you could be dealing with scorpio or um uh an aries mars energy that is coming through over here so maybe this is this could be somebody that is actually making this offer to you um and uh you know it's it's it it could be an offer of of a position that is um uh, of authority or this person could be an authority figure that is making that kind of offer to you uh whatever it is uh it looks like you know you do need to uh, take control of that situation uh as well and uh, you are you need to make that decision and it has to be based on 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 logic um, and you have to be very, very organized. Make sure you have very strategic plans in place over there uh, with that Emperor card. Now, in the past, uh, you've got that four of rods. So you, it looks like you were working with a team of people. It seemed like it was a, it was a pretty good uh, environment. It seems like there was a lot of achievement. You may have signed contracts, new contracts over there. Uh, this is usually the wedding card uh, of the deck, but it's a card about signing contracts, uh, making new plans, working with people, collaborating with a lot of people. And it seems like it was something very, very enjoyable, maybe something very stable for you. Uh, but things seems to have gone, uh, you know, a bit awry over there. You've got that four of pentacles over here. There were some financial problems that happened. There was also some kind of drama that seems to have happened. You've got a lot of clouds, almost like an explosion happening over there. So where you were working to get up that uh, career ladder and things seem to be very stable with that four of pentacles, it seems like some kind of drama has happened. And this has been the thing that has caused you to change your mind about whatever you want, what you're doing now and walk away from it. So it looks like you want to make a brand new start there. You've got the full card over here. You're still dealing with a lot of toxic people. You can see that snake over there going around her hands, ready to, you know, strike at her 
uh, and she's not expecting it. So it looks like whomever you were dealing with, they made some kind of um, you know, gesture or something that they did was something you never expected. She's got a blindfold on, so it, it was something you didn't see coming, really, whatever it is that came, and you want to make a brand new start. So going into the future, got the Ace of Wands, so somebody is making an offer to you, and it looks like it's this kind of energy over here with that, uh, the Emperor card, because there you've got that Six of, Pen uh, Six of Cups, which is a, an, a card where an offer is being made, but also you've got that Ace of Wands where a new offer is being made, and you know, it's almost like they're on either side of the Emperor card, so it could be this, um, you know, this energy, this Scorpio or... Um, Aries energy making that offer for you. It's somebody in authority. It's really somebody really higher up uh, on the on the um, career front there making that that offer to you. And you do need to, to take control with that emperor card. It means that you need to be logical when you accept this offer. Now it looks like you know there's going to be a lot of stability that comes in, and you're going to be able to achieve the things that you want with this new offer. So um, you know it's something really good. It might even be uh, uh, involve a lot of travel. It's some kind of new business venture for sure, and dealing maybe with a lot of foreign people as well. You've got the Page of Cups. Whatever this new offer is, uh, is also going to involve a lot of study, and uh, you know it's going to be quite uh, um, stable. You know, there's a lot of peace of mind that comes in with this new offer. So the Page of Cups is, uh, you know, about that further training. Uh, you know, you've got this koi fish, which is talking about you know having a lot of peace and quiet and serenity. Uh, and learning a lot of information as well, and a lot of uh, you know, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment that comes in. So it's either you uh, training people up or you being trained, going back to school, learning something brand new. Um, so you've got the hermit. So it looks like it might well be you uh, learning. So whatever this new job offer is, because the hermit card is the card ruled by Virgo, and it's a card about learning. Um, it's ruled by Mercury. Virgo rules, uh, Mercury rules Virgo, and this is about being focused on that work, focused on that job, and, uh, you know, um, putting all your efforts into that particular um, job, uh, you know, excluding, almost excluding the world from it. A lot of enlightenment coming over there, you can see the candle. So it looks like whatever this offer is uh, that comes in, there's going to be study or learning that is involved with it, or, or further training. Um, and you, it looks like soon you're going to be very, very focused, uh, working very independently as well in this particular job. And maybe it's becoming an expert at it, so specializing in whatever it is you're doing. Now, you've got uh, the nine of swords. So you're very anxious about what is going on. Uh, so this is about, uh, you know... Um, feeling very restricted as well. You can see that hands are tied over there. And you've got the Saturn card over there that is talking about, uh, you know, um, being organized, really. So if, in order for you to expand or move forward, you'd need to be organized. And this is the way you're going to get, you know, de-stress. You are very stressed out about taking, taking this new job or um, starting this new endeavor. Um, and maybe you don't want to move out of whatever it is you're doing at the moment. Uh, but this is just your fear. So maybe you're just afraid to act. It seems like you're not sleeping well at night. You're having a lot of nightmares, um, you know, a lot of anxiety going on over there. So you need to relax and not be scared to make that move, to move forward. You do want to do it with that full card. You want to, to move away from it. Um, but, you know, you, it looks like you are a bit afraid because it is affecting your sleep. Uh, it's making you feel very stressed out, very anxious. So going to the future, you've got the Knight of Wands over there. You've got um, the Six of Pentacles over here, and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands starting a new job somewhere else. So it is going to involve travel. You're going to have to make a decision pretty quickly with that Knight of Wands over here, and you've got to be very firm in what you want. So if you're negotiating salaries, make sure you tell people exactly what you want. Uh, but it looks like this particular uh, card shows that you're going to be moving on, traveling off. To do that work. So you've got two cards of travel, two cards of leaving things behind and starting a new project somewhere else. And, you know, you're taking your skills with you and you're going to be starting something somewhere else. And like I said, this could be for dealing with foreigners or it could be dealing uh, with um, a job overseas. Uh, 
you've got our money coming in. So money will start coming in over there. And you can see uh, also make sure you're watching your spending with that uh, Six of Pentacles. But it looks like whatever this new job is, is going to be paying very handsomely as well. You can see that purse is filling up there. So uh, it's going to definitely generate uh, a lot more finances. And uh, whatever this job is, it's going to be something that is going to be very stable. It's going to allow you to put down roots almost. Um, and it's going to allow you to, uh, you know, have future success in that particular company or wherever you're working. So it's something very long term with a lot of financial benefits. Now, you could even retire in this particular job, uh, but it's definitely going to generate enough money for you to even buy a new home, set down your foundations, uh, and, um, you know, be extremely happy uh, in this particular job. So uh, there's, a, there's, you know, initially it might not pay so wonderfully, but eventually it's going to bring in a lot of finance for you with that 10 of pentacles. The ten of pentacles is also, sh you know, a card that says that you will end this old job that you're doing and move on to something better. So those are um, the tarot energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, angel tarot for the oracle read. And the first card is the balance and a need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. So. Um, this is the temperance card, and this is about using all your skills uh, that you have learned in order for you to do this particular job that you're doing. So you're, you, you know, you have very specific, specialized skills, and you'll be able to employ that within this particular job. There's also a need for you to, uh, you know, balance things, and you've also got that six of pentacles. So watch your spending. Make sure you're, you're, uh, you know, uh, keeping tabs on it. Um, and, you know, try and take that middle of the road path, they say, with the temperance card. Uh, so don't get too overly emotional about things. Just keep calm. Uh, and, uh, you know, that is the way things will get sorted out. Go with the flow, keep calm. And it says here, wait for perfect timing. So things all happen uh, within a certain time or there's divine timing at play over here. So don't get stressed out if things are not moving fast enough for you. you got the eight of earth. So soon you're going to be pretty busy. Like I said, there's learning coming in with this particular job. You've got uh, the eight of earth. There's a lot of books over here. You can see this angel, uh, you know, reading. And this is skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. So this looks like you're either um, retraining or specializing in whatever it is you're doing. But you will be earning while you're doing this particular thing. And the Ace of Air is about brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging beginning. So maybe things are not going to be so smooth running uh, initially. There's always going to be a period where you need to settle down. There's a breakthrough moment, and the Ace of Air or the Ace of Swords is also about cutting ties, making a clean break from the past, moving forward, uh, and standing up for yourself. Uh, make sure that, you know, people don't walk all over you with that Ace of Air. And you've got some great ideas, some really good um, inspirations there for you, uh, and, and make sure you're speaking your truth. This is very important. So although there might be challenges in the beginning, stand up for yourself. Don't let people walk all over you. Try not to be too stressed out about making these big uh, career moves or big changes in your life because it's all, you know, leading you towards stability and it's all leading you towards uh, achieving everything that you want with that Ten of Pentacles. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.